you broke out nonsense. I want hard like Dennis Ramen. No lying. No lying. I just fucked that bitch and then I know that on her island. All right, you see these, this is like, I would say this is kind of like a, a pure slasher right here. Not going with the pure slasher. This is a slashing sharp in a way. Not going with that. This is like a, it's a play slash. Not going with that. It's like a, it's two way slasher right here. So that's that pure sharp. And then right here, this is that play sharp build. And this is what I'm going with. All right. So now your guard, of course you want to be fast. You don't want to have any of these. Speed and acceleration is huge with PG, so you obviously got to go with the first one. doesn't make sense to use any of the uh, other ones. You want to be faster your PG. All right, now we're going to set our potential. This is a big thing you need to focus. So, like, see, when I upgrade my um, three-pointers, you see how my shooting badges went up. So you want to pump everything in shooting. You might not use your post fades, but pump it so you can get those badges. That's what makes this build different. Same with defense. Same with this. This is this is what I'm gonna be doing. My defense is gonna be sus. I mean, these are the only two things I'll probably pump. All the extra points will go into steals. Everything else is strictly onto this offense. Ball handling, <laughs> of course. Ball handling's gotta be max. Same with passing accuracy. Or not? I can. I have passing accuracy is a 79. I want to use some other points to go into defense. And then post fade. You gotta put post fade up just because of the. So you can get more badges. It's still going to be 79. The 19 badges is good for me. And then that driving dunk. This is where it gets different for this build. I've been seeing a lot of people making this kind of build. But they haven't been pumping. They, haven't, they don't got these driving badges and those finishing badges that my character is going to have. Alright. Now on this body. I like burly, built, slight, compact, solid, and defined. None of this does anything to your character. So this is just a preference for what you want. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with slight. Just so I can be skinny running that around that court. I'm gonna look funky, you know what I'm saying? And then now this is tough. I've always been a six six guard since two K sixteen. I was a six six pure playmaker this year. But sadly I can't go six six. I'm gonna have to, I was gonna I was debating six five but I don't know if so if there's going to be like with 2k19 if there's still going to be that uh that faster release at 6.4 I'm, I'm for sure I'm making him 6.4 until if there's not that faster release then I'm going to be 6.5 so I'm going to change the build up to 6.5 but for now he's going to be 6.4 it doesn't make sense to put your build like the weight all the way up just put it down get that extra speed and then wingspan put i'm going all the way down you see you see how it at the base i have an 84 3 when i put all the way down it goes to a 88 and my ball handling goes up three so that's where you got to get that ball handling plus three and your three point mid range goes up as well and your post moves but you know i'm not gonna be using that <laughs> and now here's the thing this is where this is how you're gonna be a verified bucket on this build this this is your preference if you're gonna make how i made it Shot creating, no shot creating can really do everything. Shoot, spot up shooter. See, this shooter one throws me off because it's called spot up shooter now. Then it helps in catch and suit situations, but also still says that you can hit from deep. Playmaking, you know, I have play, I had double playmaking takeover like all last year. I'm going with slashing because I'm going to have that 88 3. I'm be able to speed boost. And when I get takeover, there's no way you're clamping me. Like, come on now, slash or takeover, how are you going to guard me? Now let's take a look at the badges. Now these are the badges we're going with. See, he's a scoring machine, you know what I'm saying? Penny Hardaway, D'Lo, and Jamal Murray. That's not some bad comparisons. Come on now. Don't play with me. All right, let's get to these badges, though. All right, so this is where you test your overall rating. You know, when the game comes out, you, I'm going to test him at an 85, you know what I'm saying? I'm not really going to go to 99. It's because when the game comes out, you want to get a feel. Even though it doesn't really feel like you're an 85 when you're playing that scrimmage game. And, like, all the stuff on the left, like all the playmaking and shooting, you can pump it how you want. It does, You don't have cap breakers next year. Now these finishing badges. This is how I'm going to pump them because this is how I play. I'm going to break you down. And if you're playing three up, I'm going in and dunking that. 
So I'm I'm putting contact finisher up. I've been seeing people putting relentless finisher like gold or hall of fame, but you gotta read gotta read what it says below. All this does is if you're fatigued, so it acts like a tireless score, but just for layups. That don't make sense to me. So I'm gonna go giant slayer gold as well. So I'm gonna be taking that to the rack. Now I got four more. I gotta go acrobat silver and fancy footwork silver because I'd be doing all those euros. All those spin dunks and um, hop step dunks. So that that's what I'm doing for my driving badges and finishing. Now these shooting badges is where it gets hard. First one I'm gonna talk about is that range extender. That's gotta go Holly. If you don't have Hall of Fame range extender on your build, don't talk to me. Come on now, what you doing? That's steady shooter right here, man. I'm gonna put steady shooter gold. This and steady shooter and dead eye gold. I feel like those will be a killer combo. I'm going to have that gold. And then also difficult shots. Hall of Fame. Come on now. That's always been such a good badge. And then I'm going to have hot start bronze. Just to start off. Well, when we get into the year, we're going to know what badges are good or not. So I'm going to figure out. This is what I'm going to start off the year having my badges looking like. But And then I'm going to have tireless shooter silver. I never really liked tireless score. It's a, it's a dog shit badge. You don't... I don't really think it makes it any difference because I'd be missing when I'm tired. Quick draw. Now this I'm gonna have gold. Cause I don't know. I wanna I wanna have a fast jump shot. I'm being six four. It's gonna be the uh, smallest I've ever been. So I just wanna be shooting over people. Flexible release. I'm gonna have a bronze just because sometimes I do be lagging a little bit. Have that little bit of delay. So let me have that bronze just for that delay. And then last but not least, oof, volume shooter. You know what I'm saying? Because if you're making your shots consistently, you're just going to keep getting a boost to your shots. With that hot start and volume shooter, I think that's going to be a deadly combo together. So those are the shooting badges. Now these playmaking badges, I'm going to put all the ones bronze that I'm going to have for sure. Handles for days and quick first step and also space creator. Unpluckable, that's got, I'm going to have that gold for now. We're going to see, we're going to play with these points. I'm going to put all these ones gold right here. That I'm for sure gonna. I'm gonna have. I think I'm gonna have these gold. Space Creator Silver. I'm gonna have tight handles. And ankle breaker. Let me. Mm, this is hard. Yeah, yeah. Tight handles and ankle breaker are gonna be Hall of Fame. Because this is basically an ankle breaker at the same time. So you're gonna have. I'm just gonna be breaking ankles next year. Come on now. And then defense. You know. I'm honestly just, I'm going with pickpocket so I can get those extra offensive possessions. And now you hear it, guys. This is this is my build for 2K20. This is going to be the best scoring build in 2K20. Nobody's guarding you if you have this build. Appreciate y'all for coming through. And I'm going to be posting daily when 2K20 comes out. So let me know if you guys enjoyed this. See you later.